Hey everyone, Action Movie Dad here with a quick update to yesterday's video, plus a new tip for you toward the end. Um, anyway, I had posted that video yesterday on trying to connect a solid to three nulls, posted it online, and got this great question from Captain Disillusion. Excellent and extremely useful. Thanks. Now to figure out how to trigger scripts with keyboard shortcuts. Yeah, thanks, Captain. So yesterday I was going file, scripts, and running my script file from here. But you can actually go to edit, keyboard shortcuts, and then if you type in script down here, or even the name of a script, you can find the script that is available through the menu. I can now hold down different combinations like control, shift, or whatever to see what kind of things have keyboard shortcuts already. I decided on control, alt, and then D was unassigned, so I can click and drag that over to D. And then I say OK. And now when I'm in this comp, I just select that top layer, control alt D. And it does everything that I figured out the other day with a quick keyboard shortcut. So thanks Captain D for helping me double down on my laziness. Anywho, here's a bonus tip for you guys. Uh, some of you may have noticed in my other video that I often have two copies of After Effects running. Um, I even have three pinned to the taskbar here, including the old CS55. Uh, but specifically looking at these, sometimes it's nice to be able to open up a second copy of After Effects. I know it's a little bit silly, but sometimes I'll be working in one monitor on one project and on the other monitor in another project, and I want to keep them kind of separate, or perhaps I'm rendering something and I don't want to stop working while I'm rendering, so I'll render out something on this window, do something else on this one. So here's how to do that in Windows anyway. I don't know how to do it on a Mac, I'm sorry. But you go to your program files directory, Adobe, whatever version of After Effects you have, and go down to the After Effects executable file. Now if you right click and say create shortcut, it lasts to put one on the desktop, that's fine. Great. So it makes one like this. If you right click and go to the properties, you can modify this target line with a simple fix by going to the very end and adding dash M or minus M, whatever. Apply that. And even when After Effects is running, if you run that shortcut, it'll start a new instance of After Effects. In fact, I could click on that shortcut as many times as I wanted and create a bunch of instances, but you do also want to protect your system and its resources. Make sure that your system can handle this, first of all. Sometimes if it's a really complicated project, it doesn't like it. But if it's something simple like this, uh, it could be great. Whatever your reason for wanting multiple copies of After Effects open, this is a great solution. Anyway, thanks and have a great day.